first and foremost, man, peace and blessings to everybody. I want to thank everybody. Um, just this new year is coming in. Everything has been beautiful. You know, we've been able to secure a lot of different projects, you know, and we've been working. Um, you know, I can't teach perfection because I'm not perfect. I can't teach perfection. I'm not perfect. I can only teach from experience. When I go on shows, right, and I speak, you know, I speak from a place of, you know, striving to do better and be better and live better. That's it. You know, I don't speak from this place of, you know, hyper-perfect narcissism. And I also think the word narcissist is the most overused word in the dictionary. And um, when you probably look it up, probably everybody fits <laughs> into it in some sense. But I think it's an over word, overused word that oversimplifies because... When you think about it, a person who is a narcissist, that's a mental illness that really so caldly can't be cured, right? Um, but I think a lot of what is said and done in that particular capacity are just another forms and words to trying to stop men from thinking like men. That's all I think it is. And the world no longer accepts men. So any expression of being a man is now termed as a mental illness. <laughs> now, that's where I think the issue is. You know, I think that any term and expression of men naturally being themselves is seen as an issue. And I just wanted to say that. That had nothing to do why I went live. Somebody say, no, Adam 22 of Vlad interviews. I already did the Adam 22 um, interview, but I actually didn't know much about the, the the hate that people have for his platform, you know, until I did the interview. Of course, I didn't get no bad feedback because everything we talked about was just... You know, pure guy vibes. Because that's what I'm going to do when I come on a platform. If I come on a platform, a lot of times it's to provide a different spectrum of, you know, perspective. That normally would not be seen. Especially by an audience who comes there for pure ignorance. You know, so that's what I go on a lot of those platforms for. And it's to increase the marketing and the engagement. Like, you got to let a God be a God. You know what I'm saying? Like, let a God be a God feel me like i'm not going there to give my best information i'm going there to give exposure to what's out there and then people realize like damn i could have been tapping into keys the whole time but they be tapped into some bs so it's it's coming in to bring you know some 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 enlightenment throughout your day when normally you probably be tapped into some bs all day long you know mr vagabond i want you to understand man when it comes to enemies of the culture there's enemies of the culture and mostly all of these platforms. You can't name me a platform that don't push ignorance. Besides, you know, Earn Your Leisure. You know, 19 Keys. But you can't name not one single other black media platform out there that is prominent that don't push ignorance. I'm going to wait for anybody that can name me somebody that's of prominence. That's popular. That's relevant. That's, you know, that has a large following. That does not push ignorance onto our people. So I think that another thing is we got a savior complex, but we also have a villain complex because sometimes we can only see villain in the people who don't look like us. We don't see the villain in those who look like us. You know what I'm saying? Of course, forbidden knowledge. Come on, man. You know you ain't gonna be pushing on ignorance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take that one though. That's what I'm talking about. You know? Yeah, but it ain't no no mainstream platforms. All of them push ignorance. You know, so when 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 I say, you know, we got a, a villain complex, like, yeah, it's easy to point out Vlad TV. It's easy to point out Adam because these are two white boys in the space making money off of, you know, a, 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 a lot of street ignorant toxic culture that pre-exist they platforms but world star hip-hop wasn't that the same thing i mean they didn't create the business models they follow them and i'm not taking up for them but i just want us to see you know generally around the board that's what we do to each other you know it's like a white boy getting in hip-hop and rapping gangster you can't be mad at them because Man, how many fake gangsters got in? Or, shit, they might have really done been in the streets and what they want to do. They want to express what they see because influence 
that's what it does. It, it actually influences people. You know, I, I get on these platforms and I talk God business. So if I see, if I see a rapper talking God business like 19 Keys, yeah, I know where they got it from, but I ain't mad at them. Yeah, they that, that was the whole point. What's the influence on? So you know that's 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 the goal. So if if a person has ignorance and their goal is to influence you and they influence ignorance, that's what they doing. You know how many people are they influenced? I've been on Good Mom Show. I haven't been on Be Some Mom Show. I might have I might have the girls that know for sure on my show though. We already talked to Be Some Mom. You know, it's good people's over there. So we might have her on the show. Um, I think more so just to continue to add feminine energy and I like when they be talking you know, God on their show. I think they be having some positive vibes, and they be kind of get a little deep into the into the spirituals and the therapeutics. You know, Les Brown did reach out. I actually need to call him. He sent me his number, so I need to hit him back. Yeah, never heard of the Selfish Babe podcast. I've been on Poor Minds. I don't support Vlad. Who said I support Vlad? Man, chill, brother. You gotta relax, brother Vagabond. I ain't never supported that Negro in my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't support that devil. I don't like him whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? You asking the wrong person. I think drink traps, um, drink not drink champs. I think revolt is a platform that tries. You know, I don't think that they have the freedom yet to do what what I feel like the employees at over at revolt will want to see happen why because you know you got you got to make ad money you know i was talking with revolt all last year they wanted to do a show nothing came about you know um i got on most of the shows on revolt just through personal relationships but you know revolt i think is a platform that wants to do good but the the nature of business and running a media company is by being able to get ads add money to be able to fund these shows and get a budget for these shows and get paid for pushing them out and so if they can't get the budget because a lot of these white companies they punish and revolt for pushing out drink champs episode for pushing out minister farrakhan so you got to also understand when somebody does something that's against you know the system if you will um they get punished by the machine and the way that the machine does it, they say, well, Kanye West did something, so we pulling ads on all the black medias just to prove a point to y'all, just to show y'all. Like, this is the shit they can't talk about, but I say it, you know, white money pulls out a black advertisement when one black person do something, that makes all black people be against it. So they be like, nah, you fucking up the money. And they really mean that because they get letters, right? And, and, and they be like, nah, we pulling black ad dollars for that reason. So it's to punish them all things so that each one keeps the rest of them in check. That's how the game goes. And I'm talking about real life. I'm not talking about spectation on this. You know, like, they, they literally sending them letters and having those phone calls and hitting people up like, yo, do this or do that. Otherwise, we pulling the plug. So, you know, you may, you cannot be a real strong black voice unless you're independent. That's the only way it works. So independent media looks like media that's self-funded. That's it. No, council culture don't happen. Council culture is pulling the money. That's what that is about. Council culture is about pulling the money. So when you see platforms decide to say, well, we're going to go back to making ignorant, unnecessary gossip rumor content is because that's safe and their sponsors don't mind that but when you get into politics you get into social politics you get into revolution right you start talking about doing for self and independence educating people nah the sponsors like um even if that's a good show and it's reaching millions especially if it is we're not going to support that that's the way it works you know what I'm saying? That's the way it works. So, you know, I've studied this. And, you know, like, you would think, like, we get millions of views. We doing better than mostly all of the hit shows that's out there. All of those fake shows. All our stuff is all organic. You know, we getting some, uh, we get some sponsors that tap in on the audio side. You feel me? But they don't really want to see this grow into what it could be. 
Shout out to YouTube because YouTube at least ain't doing no suppression uh, from our show. And you know what we spit on our show, man. It's, it's high level all the time. Type of stuff that'll break the chains. You know? So we have successful shows. Every Everything I put out is success. Because, you know, I always focus on the right idea at the right time. That's the formula. Look, this brother still talking about Vlad and Adam 22. Man, what, what's wrong with you, brother? He's still talking about we don't support them, man. Who talking about them? <laughs> brother, you must watch that show religiously. He must be mad. Bro, you support them by talking about them. You know what I'm saying? But nah, me personally, man, I go into the enemy's chamber and do battle. I don't really got to, I ain't really, I, I, go on, I go on Fox News, I go on all of these. You know what I mean? And spread the message. Why? Because that's that's what, shit, that's what Malcolm did. That's what Donald Elijah Muhammad did. That's what, you know, an honorable minister Louis Farrakhan do. You know, ain't nobody afraid. Like, them devils ain't got that much power, man. I don't get nobody that kind of power, man. Yeah. You got to, y'all got to start believing in yourself on a different level. You know? Like, I believe in myself to where I don't really make... I don't get a devil that much power to be like, oh, Key standing next to that person. That means they sold out to Keys. Now, I ain't never heard nobody say they sold out to God because, you know, God ain't going to make you sell out. But I'm just mean, like, you feel me? They on God's side. Like, as soon as you see somebody says something about me putting up uh, some signs in one of my videos, you know, the thinking sign, I be doing the thinking sign, bro. I be thinking, you feel me? I be like this. I must try to act like it was a Illuminati or something. Come on, man. Y'all be doing too much. And what you do is you destroy valid arguments when there all is weird shit going on. Because everybody loved the Grammys and they was performing all kind of satanic rituals. I thought we was boycotting a couple of years ago. Nah, that's yeah. over. That's it's over. Right. Yeah, Jay-Z started boycotting. He did the eight-minute freestyle up there. That's over. Yeah, the boycott over. I ain't gonna lie. I would have pulled up. I would have pulled up just to see what it looked like inside. But what I learned in, in life, though, and I'm gonna give y'all this key, and I talked about this before. You just got to not be impressed. Being impressed is like, yo, man, it changes who you are. You know, that's the whole trick. Like women, y'all know this because a man going to do anything to impress a woman because when he, when a woman is impressed, he got her. That's pimping. And I'm not talking about just regular impressed like, oh, I like what you're doing. No, oh, she liked the car. He flashing the money. I ain't mean she go get it all, but she start thinking about what she can do to get it. What she can do to be a part of it. That's how they do in the and that's how they do in the industry. We go flash all of this. We go flash the money, the cars, the the access. You know what I'm saying? We go talk dreams and opportunities, man. You know how how many fake people in the industry I meet? All of them because. Man, all they do is talk about what they going to do. I'm going to hit you up about this. I'm going to do this, that, and the third. And all of it go one ear out the other. It's fake. This boy, I tell you, man, people be doing all kind of funny shit with me, boy. Bro, why I, so I was at this event the other day. Bro, walk up to me. Uh, bro, I, you know, he spit, he spit the whole spit. I don't know who you are. He want to do this movie and everything. And then he got his phone right there after he done talking. You know, he told us, man, you know, I, I don't know why I ain't been following you this whole time. He pulled out his phone. My profile is already at the front of his phone. <laughs> and he pressed the follow button in front of me because, you know, he's trying to prompt a response like AI. AI put out a prompt. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to prompt the response like, oh, I'm going to follow you back. And, uh, <laughs> bro, you was already following. I know what you did. You wanted to unfollow me. Walked up to me, pulled up the platform, tried to get that follow, and you trying to trick me, man. I, you can't trick me, B. Like, what's up with you, man? I don't like when people try to trick me. <laughs> I don't like when people try to trick me. I had somebody do this once before. I hit them up, but they in the city. I said, yo, I'm in the city. What's the word, bro? Like, yo, I'm going to hit you up, man. We got stuff going on out here, blah, 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 Zay, all kind of extras. So I end up pulling up. Lo and behold, I happen to already have access to this event. Bro pull up to the event. He don't know how people know when he first walk in. How people like, they ain't even hit me back. But I ain't tripping, though. You feel me? So he don't realize I already peeped him because I, I went back to paying attention to my business. You know, I seen him in the quarter of my eye. He walked back out because he peeped me like, oh, I didn't even respond to Keys. Instead of just walking up and saying, what's up, Keys? You feel me? And then just moving forward from there, he walks out, texts me. 
oh, I didn't even see this text. And then he proceeds to text me all of these different events that's going on in the city, you know, and then walks back into it, you know, and then be like, hey, that's crazy. <laughs> Ask, look how things work. <laughs> look how the universe works. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you just walked out, text me, then walk back in. Stop it, man. It's cool. It ain't that serious. I would tell people all the time. Somebody asked me the other day. It was like, uh, your number changed. You know what I'm saying? You ain't hit me back. I said, no, nah, my number ain't changed. I probably just didn't reply. I probably just didn't answer. You know, I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I'm not, I'm not gonna fake it. Like, like my number ain't changed. I just didn't answer. You know what I'm saying? That's I, I, I know. I can you can rub people the wrong way by speaking the truth, right? But that's life. That's life. You know, I'm not gonna fake it. If I ain't answer the phone or you nothing, I'm not your servant. So I'm gonna be like, if you ask me why I didn't answer, I just didn't feel like it. I don't owe an explanation or none of those things. Like, because what I learn is, I, I, I tell people, I, t I call you when I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I answer when I'm feeling good. Because I'm not going to answer and then I'll feel like I'm stuck on the phone, got to talk when I don't want to. Because now I have an animosity towards you and I don't want that. So I'd rather call you when my energy is high. So now we can get the vibration flowing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never personal. Otherwise, I'll block your number or something. I'll, I'll tell you to stop calling me. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, my whole thing is I don't like to just talk to people. It's not a job. You know what I'm saying? I talk to people when necessary and my energy is high. And therefore, we're going to have the best conversation. Right? Somebody told me the other day I need to learn more finesse. And I, I think I do sometimes because they say you regal, but you can be cold sometimes. And I can see that. I can see that. You know, because sometimes when I when I want a person to know my shoulder is cold, I, I do that on purpose. And now I'm getting to this point where, yeah, I got to learn a little more finesse and a little more tact when I deal with things. You know, you know, the young the young cats these days call it riz. I don't like that word riz, though. It just don't. It ain't got no charisma in it. It's supposed to be short for charisma. But the word riz ain't charismatic itself. You know, back in our day, it was about having game. You feel me? Uh, 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 you know, being smooth. But I don't like that word riz. It don't sound right. You know? No, finesse ain't finesse ain't about lying at all. It's about the way you do things. You have to do things with finesse. You have to do things smooth. You have to do things charismatic. You have to, you know, do the obvious un un unassumingly, you know? It's like a person know that's what you're doing, but they don't feel that way. A person know you don't want to talk for long, but you fully engage them in that moment, give them all of your energy, and then you move about your day, you know? So the whole goal is to make sure that people have good encounters with you, to make people feel good when they leave, because when they leave, they're going to continue to think about you in a positive manner. And if an opportunity comes up, then guess what? The opportunity comes up, then they still got you in a good mind. Now, this ain't no pimping knowledge. I never liked pimps. But, you know, I think I just know how to speak. You know, I'm from the Bay Area, so we know how to speak well. But you can't, this, 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 you know, this ain't no pimping whatsoever.